Welcome back, it's Rakdar, and check it out. Every main animal, not every skin of every animal, I don't even care about the skins, every main animal is now unlocked. I finally got the points, and I've unlocked ERC-2000, and to celebrate having unlocked ERC-2000, I am going to play as ERC-2000, and who knows, maybe as a spot of good luck, ERC-2000 will be the dude. ERC-2000 could very well, quite possibly, get me the tuxedo I so desire, since I failed getting the tuxedo as the Hume, the office worker, which was very sad. I was not very happy to have failed getting the tuxedo as the office worker, but you know what? It's okay. You don't always get everything you want in life. I'm excited to be playing as a robo-dog again. The problem with the robo-dogs, as I've stated in the past, is that they are sort of like their challenges are immediately tough but they do start off you may notice the starting music as the robo dog is way different than your average starting music and that's because the game is like hey robo dog should get sweet robo dog music by the way you may also notice or remember technically we're playing as the villain of the game right now this character is the one that wanted to bring the humans that destroyed the world back he wanted to bring them back to destroy the world again. And Robodog was like, okay, let's do it. But then, other Robodog was like, no, we will not bring them back. I was raised by wolves. Humans destroyed the earth once already. And I will not allow the Humes to come back again and take their shit to the streets. So, this is the Robodog that totally tried to kill the other cool Robodog. Which, I've already played as the other Robodog. The other Robodog actually has better stats than this guy. But it's funny, he's got better stats even though he's an older model. And so what you realize right then and there in the game is that the reason he's got better stats even though he's an older model is because he's got something that the other, that this Robodog will never have. He's got heart. He's got soul. He was raised by animals. He feels love and compassion for his animal brethren, and I really want to get a clean kill right here, there we go. But, like, seriously, he... Other Robodog just feels the Hume feelings. The, the Hume, by the way, when I say Hume, I'm not referring to philosopher David Hume. I'm referring to humans. <laughs> but yeah, see, the other dog feels the feelings of humanity that this dog will never feel. And it, say, it makes him want to save other animals, it makes him want to be great, but that's okay, because this dog has some pretty damn buff stats, so at least we can sit and bask in the wonder of the fact that ERC-2000 has amazingly buffed up stats, and it will not be hard to live as him. But like I was saying earlier, the thing about ERC-2000 is that it will be hard to... What'll, what will it be hard? Oh, shit. I need those. Actually, I don't really need those. I was saying it will be hard for ERC-2000 to live his life... What am I trying to... Oh, to get his challenges done. Because if I'm not mistaken, ERC-2000 is going to have some crazy-ass challenges coming up. By the way, holy shit. I thought I had killed this, like... This Silky Terrier is super brave. Like, he doesn't think a metal version of himself... Like, I feel like most Silky Terriers in the real world they know that once that like y you would be afraid of a metal dog even if it was a toy like I've seen videos on YouTubes of silky ter or of little dogs being scared as fuck of like toy of, of toy robotic dogs and yet here this little silky terrier was like nah I'm gonna defend my fallen warrior of a, br of a bro but you know I guess that makes enough sense that he wants to defend his fallen brother warrior. Like, if I were in his pants, I would totally want to defend my- Oh my gosh! Is there a chicken party? Nope, there's not. There is- I think that's what it says when there's the chicken event. There's like the chicken event, and there's a chicken that wears a giant jetpack. But, there's an event called chicken party, and I thought maybe just because there's so many baby chicks hanging out around here that there might may very might maybe very well be in fact a chicken party going down right now dude these are not a significant source of calories but 
I feel like this is a great way, all these chickens just hanging out here, is a fantastic way for me to pass the time while I wait for my next set of challenges, because they may all be small amounts of calories, but they're easy to kill and plentiful, and so they're just a great general way. Oh, now we got a pig, though. Pig probably would have tried to fight back had I not murdered him almost instantly. So, sorry, pig. Your bacon will make my robo-body very happy. Your bacon will take my robo-body much farther than it would have taken your stupid pig body. Because as you can see, pig, there's no plants around here. You weren't gonna have shit to eat anyway. While my robotic- my superior robotic body, on the other hand, is gonna have plenty of shit to eat. And plenty of axis deer to murder. Murder to death. Alright. I'm boss rank, and of course that is meaningless as Robo Dog. Because boss rank Oh, dude, we got some more silky terriers. Look at this. This one's gonna be just like the other one where he's gonna be super brave. He's gonna attack me while I'm eating. Nope, he didn't. This silky terrier, I guess, was not as brave as his silky terrier brother. Because Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got some cat down here. Dude, seriously, these animals are so brave. Oh, uh, nobody, no one survives. Seriously, it is kind of a dick move for me to, uh, for me to just kill these cats like it's nobody's business. I'm like, sorry cats, I know you're just trying to get past me, but guess what? I'm a robotic dog, and it is my prerogative to kill all the animals. I mean, technically, this is the first animal where storyline-wise, there's no reason not for me to kill every animal because if I'm playing like RP style, if I'm role-playing the ERC-2000, I totally need to be killing as many animals as possible. And the reason that I totally need to be killing as many animals as possible as ERC-2000 is because I, you know, need to clear the Tokyo jungle out for humans again for when I bring them back to life. Although, I mean, technically, I would actually leave the animals so the humans could kill them and have a source of food when they come back. Oh man, no double jumping. So, I'm recording this immediately after I recorded my death in the last episode, and I remember I got so used to getting my sweet, sweet double jump as the human that now it's sort of sad that I'm running around as ERC-2000 and I get no double jump. I just have to jump like a normal, meat-eating being. Although I've sort of, I've mentioned this, like, every time I play as one of the robot dogs, they totally should be able to eat plants. Like, if they're just machines that just process the food, and basically, they use the food for combustion, there's calories in plants, which means anything that has calories has combustion. And I mean, so if their inner systems that they use are based off of uh, combustion from calories. They should totally be able to burn plants for just like less energy. And I've said that every time and it'll never, it'll never change. But I truly do believe that it would be awesome if you got to burn plants as energy when you're playing as RoboDog. But then I've also said before that it would be too easy to play as RoboDog because it could just eat everything. Although I suppose the game could just change its engine and maybe spawn less stuff. And that could be one way that they could make it possible for you to be able to eat both plants and whatever. Dude, I don't want to kill anything over here, actually. Like, I legitimately want to leave all these animals alive, and then when the next 10 year mark comes around, I can come back here and do some hunting at the grounds. All right, defeat 25 animals, find convenience store plaza which is at Shibuya Woods. Oh, dude! Wow, see, look at that! And I already- I actually know where Convenience Store Plaza is. Like, in the past, I've not known where Convenience Store Plaza was, but a few episodes ago, I think I had to find Convenience Store Plaza. And so, I am actually now aware- Whoa! By the way, that was a totally accidental dodge. Not to say I probably wouldn't have gotten the dodge off anyway. This game usually gives you a decent amount of time to get your dodges off, but, oh my gosh, I forgot. There is an event here that is going to make my 15 kills so easy. Former pets are warring in Shibuya Woods. So I should actually have no problem just killing animals over here because I have the former pets are warring in Shibuya Woods thing going on. I always thought it was interesting that, like, 
I don't think beagles hang out in the former pets are warring in Shibuya Woods event. I think it's mostly a combination of um, terriers, cats, and there's one other. Oh no, they're gonna kill each other if I stay up here. So that's this is a funny thing. I always mention this whenever it's topical. So what's funny is animals, unless you're in proximity to them, they'll just ignore each other. Like. There will totally be two, like, Toy Story style, but with the animals. The animals just be walking around minding their own business, but then once you get in close enough proximity, they'll interact with each other, and I always thought that was really funny, because it is totally like how, you know, in Toy Story, when humans are around, they're like, alright, we gotta pretend to be toys. Well, in this game, when you're around, aka humans, all the animals are suddenly like, alright, everybody, we gotta pretend- oh, I thought that dog was gonna attack me. So when you're around, all the animals are like, All right, we gotta pretend to be animals again. We... We weren't animals when the human player wasn't around, but now that we're... Now that the human player's back, we gotta pretend to be animals again. And it's just really funny to me that it's sort of like... I don't know. It's just because it would take way too much complex AI to make it so all the animals were interacting with each other while the... Uh, human was not off screen. Like, seriously, it would take a lot more programming, and it would take up a lot more internal memory, because you'd have to have the whole map spawned and interacting with itself the entire time. And that would just be sort of tough. I'm wondering... Alright, cool. Former pets are still warring in Shibuya Woods. I'm I'm afraid that the event...